Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we're going to convert a regular, uh, so to speak, analog bicycle into an e-bike. For now, I don't know the specs. It's all a surprise for me. I got uh, invited by Lucas to see this process. So let's find out together. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. All right, so right now we're at Hala Rowerowa. You can see it's a pretty big bike shop here in Warsaw, Poland. And you can see there's a wide variety of bikes and actually also e-bikes. So if you're interested in tests of like stock e-bikes like this or like this or like this, then leave a comment below. Uh, but today we're going to perform a conversion of a analog bike, as I said before, with this Marin or Marine. Uh, the bike is actually in nothing special. I don't know so much about bicycles to tell you all the like important specs and so on. Um, it has a steel frame and we will mount a mid-drive engine to this e-bike and a battery a removable battery. The conversion will not be performed on this exact model, so we'll head on over to Tobias, who has the same version of the bike prepared for the conversion. To perform this conversion, you can either go to this shop here, Hala Roverova, to perform this conversion. The guys will do everything for you and arrange all the parts. Meet Tobias. Hey. <laughs> or you can get the parts by yourself and make the conversion. All right, so that is the bike we're gonna perform the conversion on there is no mo motor inside here yet and yeah let's see what are the next steps to perform the conversion. we will perform the conversion on this exact bike but basically all bicycles are ready for a e-bike conversion of course depending on the parts and configuration so the cables actually are not routed yet we have just the sensor here and the display is already mounted but the cables are still loose and there is this part which is the gear sensor which will not allow the motor to turn while changing gears so you don't break the gears here you have the throttle on the left side and the on off switch and the mode selector Unboxing time. So this is the Bafang 750 watt normal power mid drive motor. Cool thing about it is that it has actually the controller already built in. So that's one less thing hanging off your e bike. <laughs> Electricity. So I was just talking that. Oh. <laughs> that's heavy, dude. <laughs> that's heavy. 4.2 kilograms. You, you want to test? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> okay. He's heavy. Really He's heavy. heavy. So, you know, uh, we'll mount this on the bike and see how it goes. You have all the cables here. Główne zasilania to jest EBUS do podłączenia wyświetlacza, manetki, wszystkich akcesoriów. A tutaj mamy czujnik obrotu koła, czyli czujnik okay. prędkości. Okay. Czujnik pas jest zbudowany w silnik. Okay, we have the these things and a blue one okay maybe that's just keep it blue <laughs> for a 46 piece sprocket <laughs> lucas who is behind the camera is trying his best to be a good operator <laughs> more cables uh more and more cables and uh, even more okay all the mounting brackets and so on and you have to always test if this engine will actually fit on your bike because you it can't get through like this part here but maybe there are some other obstructions to if you want this engine on your bike better first check maybe also here and then we have more stuff oh yeah I think this is actually already mounted on the bike. Well, I don't know so much. Let's get back to Tobias to show us the way. War! <laughs> On 
Należy zwrócić uwagę mhm. przy montażu tego silnika mhm. tutaj od tej strony, mhm. aby korpus napędowy mhm. ten nie zapierał się o widelec. Okay. On tutaj musi się zaprzeć o mufę suportu. O tutaj, o tą rurkę. Na tej rurce musi stanąć. Mhm. Jak dojedziemy, to widać, że on ma delikatny odstęp. Do samej góry i dopchnąć go tak, żeby tutaj przelegało. If the engine or the engine's moving parts were to interfere with some other parts of the frame, then you can just uh, get a washer inside and this should hopefully solve your problem. Tutaj są ząbki dzięki którym silnik, no, ta podkładka wbija się w ramę tak naprawdę. Zakładamy mhm. ząbkami w stronę ramy. Bierzemy pierwszą nakrętkę. Mhm. And you'll need a special key that is not included in the box. Then you can tighten this nut with around 70 newton meters of pressure. Then you can screw in the counter nut or lock nut with around 30 newton meters of force. Now you can mount the chain. Now we can connect all the connections and don't worry, all the connectors are in a shape that, that is unique, so you can't mess this up. And if you thought ahead, you would know that you actually need to route the cables. So we had to loosen the engine again and route the cables in the correct way to not have a mess. It's time to mount the battery mount and again connect it with the necessary cables. It's alive! <laughs> The display is on, it also has backlight and it has different levels of assistance. So even though it's not a torque sensor, you can select various electric assistance powers at different speeds. The throttle is always at max. And here's a time lapse of arranging all the cables with cable ties. Okay, it seems like everything is ready. We connected everything with, I mean, we. Um, Toby has connected everything with uh, zip ties, so now the cables are routed. Um, basically all of the connections are also pretty much hermetic. So yeah, I think it's getting ready. We're ready to take it out for a spin. Now we did not test the acceleration because it was uh, extremely poor, but we did test the top speed without pedaling, it was around 35 to 38 kilometers an hour on the highest gear. But I was quite surprised about the top speed with pedaling, it was around 55 kilometers an hour, even maybe 60 kilometers an hour would be possible. Cool! That was a bit faster, right? Whew. Now, not on purpose, we went a bit off-roading and actually uh, the engine and the gears help a lot here to just safely go through the mud. Yeah. Big tires, top in the mud. Woo! A taki był czyst. Taki był czysty. Kto to umyje teraz? 
I don't know why, but I always end up in mud. Wait, now I will show you how it would be difficult to go without the electric engine. Oh my god. Oh shit. This is heavy, dude. This is heavy. Oh shit. Oh my god. No, no. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I, I better turn it on. Better turn it on again. All right. Yeah. Yes. Okay, it's, it's, it's very steep. And I wanted to show you the advantages when you have a mid-drive motor in your e-bike. So the first cool function is that you can just press the throttle or the minus button for the longer time, like so, and then you can just go with the same speed of the bike. So the motor is on, just press the button, and it goes by itself. If that is not enough for you, you can either lower the gearing of the e-bike or just press the throttle. Now I'll just do that. So this should get you out of the most tough situation. Also very pr practical when you do like, I don't know, oh man, uh, when you do downhill. Okay, so now I will attempt to go up there just by using my mountain biking skills, which I don't have any. Oh, okay, let's try. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. A bit too slippery. Too slippery. Uh, let's try this one. Let's not fall into the water as well. So now the throttle. Oh boy, that's torquey. I, I don't have to do anything at all. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> no throttle needed. So listen, now I will change the gearing to a higher gearing. And now it's way heavier to go up here. But still... Oh yeah, a bit of problem. So that's why it's good to have these gears. Because even if you have a very steep hill, you just change the gears and you can go up the hill. You know what? I'll try to do it once again in a super high gearing. And probably it won't move at all. So this is the highest gear I can have on the bike. See? Doesn't even move. No chance. One last attempt going up this hill without any electric uh, assistance. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's, that's the wrong gear. Is this the right gear? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's just the drill, you know. Okay, once more. It's just a joke. I couldn't do it. Electricity and electric motors are just too nice. Okay, so now we're in this beautiful location. I can probably take off my helmet. So anyways, I wanted to show you like a bit more about the e-bike, sort of a mini review of it. Obviously I did not do the range test of it, but the battery is around like, I think 500 watt hours if I'm if I'm right or wrong, I don't know. Uh, the right number will appear, appear on the screen now. Different sort of chargers. All in all, we were riding for a bit now. For most of the city driving, I would just probably leave it in the second mode and have a little bit of strain and then I will go like 25, 30 kilometers an hour which is like totally comfortable. I don't know what range I would get, uh, but uh, some of the controls of the e-bike. So uh, here you have the mode selector, you can turn it on, off. I did show you the different modes, uh, the 
throttle is always in the maximum power so this is also nice you can have it on either this side or this side just depends on your preference um, one thing I would add to this e-bike but uh, the guys told me that it's just a test e-bike that's why it's not here I would change like the first thing I would do I would change the brakes here for e-bike brakes to have braking sensors so automatically when I um, when I brake the motor should turn off that's not the case here but you can do it at um, this uh, shop you should definitely order e-bike brakes for an e-bike um, I would probably also change uh, the brakes for bigger ones um, I mean these ones are probably okay but always good to have more braking power when you have more speed more weight um, more strain on uh, on the brakes so the display is very nice I can see it very clearly um, you can actually also adjust the PIS system so for now it's like you do a quarter of the turn and the motor kicks in uh, you can change it for like a full turn or even three turns depends on your preference but now it is a quarter turn so you always need to watch out if uh, the bike isn't moving because it can just suddenly you know go somewhere um, yeah and going through the mud it's awesome to have the torque and select the gears on this e-bike I mean I did not expect it but um, yeah the motor is actually quite torquey when you have it in low range it helps out when you go hill climbing when you go for mud like this and on the other hand when you have the other ratio the smallest ratio then you can go really fast so the battery is also removable I mean the e-bike can stay outside and uh, you can take the battery out for charging at home and all of the cables you know <laughs> all of the cables you can see now <laughs> all of the cables are covered in mud uh, that's a sign that you know the the connections are right and there's no problem with you know riding it in the rain so no issues there the price will appear on screen now but uh, you you won't sweat if you don't need to uh, you will have a faster speed you will climb the hills easier and yeah that's definitely a very very nice thing to have the gear sensor will automatically um, release the throttle when changing gear so that's really practical to not put too much strain on the chain but the chain is also <laughs> falling down uh, the chain is also a e-bike chain so it should be more durable if you're in Warsaw area you should definitely ch check these guys out and uh, maybe do it yourself even and if you're still here please leave a like on the video subscribe to see more content like this and I'll see you watch out for a helmet in the next video see you soon mm -hmm.